So continuing on from where we left off with the basic JSON stuff, we've got the same JSON data object from the top here, and there's our console commands to write out this stuff. I want to talk a little bit about editing and adding to this object. It's as simple as resetting a value in a variable. So my data is the entire object uh, people number zero. So that's the first one. If I wanted to change Bob's email address, we could say my data dot people sub zero dot email equals and then this would be the new email address. Bob at hotmail.com. There we go. So that has changed the value from up here inside of the object itself. If I wanted to add a new property, I can add it inside of any one of the objects or arrays or strings. Anything I want to change, I can. Anything I want to add, I can. If I wanted to add something, let's say we've got people, we've got count. Those are two right at the root level. We can add a third one. My data dot stuff equals things. There. Now we have people, which is an array, count, which is a number, and stuff, which is a string. If I wanted to add a date in there, I could do that as well. My data dot today equals new date. There we go. Now, complex objects like this don't often translate well, so we're better off with this if I call the toString function like this, or I just simply treat this date object as if it were a string. So I'll just throw in that date. There we go. So we have people, count, thing, or stuff, and today. There are four things at the root level inside of my data. Just to prove that point, we're going to do a for loop here. Now, I'm not going to do the traditional for loop that we've done up until this point. I'm going to do a for in loop. If you notice in the code complete here, it says one of two, for init, condition, and next. That's the standard for loop that we've done. If I click on this, here we go, for iterator in objects. That's what we're going to do. This is the for in loop. So iterator, this is your counter variable, if you will. So obj in, and then you list off the object that you want to loop through. So my data is this big thing from the top that we've added into. Inside the root level of that, there are four things people, which is an array, count, which is a number, and then two strings. So this obj is going to represent people, count, stuff, and today. If I were to say console.log, and we did obj, we would get those objects. So I'm going to jump over to the browser, and we'll run the JavaScript console. There's the page and we'll bring up the JavaScript console and there it is so we have there's our first few things that we had from before and now people count stuff today those are the four things inside the root level of our variable and if I wanted to get the value of those last ones console.log my data square bracket obj. There we go. This is going to give me the value of those things. So I'll jump back over, bring this up a little bit higher so we can see everything, and refresh. There we go. So people is square bracket with two objects inside. That's exactly what it is. Count is the number two. Stuff is equal to the string things, and today is equal to the string 2012-09-09. And that's how you access and edit and add to a JSON object.